Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Be yourself around others. The biggest assumption that humans make is that everyone sees life the way we do. We assume that others think the way we think, feel the way we feel, judge the way we judge, and abuse the way we abuse. We're afraid to be ourselves around others because we think others will judge us, victimize us, abuse us, and blame us as we do ourselves. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 111, NASDAQ up 88, S&P's up 22. Gold, gold contract down $10.40, trading out at 1831 an ounce. We have silver down 35 cents, price point 21.46. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note up six ticks, trading 111.13, 30-year up 16 at 125.02 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading uh, flat. 104.590, euro 105, yen, one, yen? 134, British pound, 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we'll take a look at the SPY first. What are you going to see out here? You went from a price point of 396 to small. You started out at 401. We're at 400 right now. You get down to 396. We're laying out here at 400. What you're going to have happen here, folks, is that you're actually going to be at a lower low with higher volume. We already done 72 million shares. So now what's going to happen? You know, yesterday we did 83 million. You're going to be at like a 92 million, no matter where we close. By the way, that's what that happens. If you get to a lower low of volume, you're going to be right back downtown. We go take a look at the NDX 100. What do we have with the NDX? NDX right now, the Qs are trading up 240. We went to 292. Uh, and I don't think this broke the low, though. Let's see. 292.56. And then it did. So the bottom line, same with the same with the, the Qs, man. The bottom line with the Qs, you're gonna you're gonna have a lower low, you get volume coming in. You've already done 56 million. Uh, with the Qs. So I suspect the Qs are going to be do probably do 75 million. Gold. Gold contract out here is a confirmed ABC structure down. Now this one's going to get interesting because you, you broke the B and you have the volume. So if you take a look at this, let me show you this here. Okay. So we're breaking, we need 165,000 contracts. You get 171. And I suspect gold's going to have to build some more cars, though. The reason being is that if you look at where we are, you can see the amount of time that gold actually traded at this level. We traded from May 30th, is that May 30th? No, November 30th, uh, going over to uh, December 30th. So I suspect this will mess around here, go sideways a bit before we actually get the full price projection on the way down. We go over to the dollar, and the dollar is going to rule. There's no doubt about that. What you have with the dollar, you know, the dollar still wants higher price, man. So it just matters when the dollar decides that it's going to run up to this 106 to 107 area. The 106, 200 is the 0.382. Uh, the 107, 70 is the 50. And then if we go over to notes and bonds, what you're going to see with notes and bonds, let me see if it got to a lower low or it just popped from where. Okay, so it went to a lower low. Look at this volume. Oh, this is not good. Okay, so check it out. The, the number, <laughs> the first number that I was looking for was the 110.22, I think. We got 110.25 today. Yeah, so what you have is this. This is where we took off from, and that's the 110.22. We got to 110.25 today. You can see the volume, though. This is 3.7 million contracts, man. That's not cool. Um, that's saying that the 10-year note is also going to be back down there. You know, because it's, yeah, it's pretty intense, actually. Let's take a look at some of the higher vault. Well, actually, no, I want to go look at silver. Because silver, okay, so silver right now. Silver's trading down 35. Now, this is going to go after the B.2. Let's see. Let's look at this. 
Yeah, it's going to have the. It didn't break the B point today. It's going to have it though. You can see the huge volume of silver. Thirty-two thousand contracts. You you only need sixteen thousand contracts to break the B point of a confirmed ABC structure down. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. You got uh, Nvidia's up twenty nine dollars. You got Advanced Micro up uh, three dollars. We have Unity Software off five and a half bucks. You got Wayfair down uh, twelve fifty nine. Now check this out, man. This is pretty heavy because this is this didn't gap down, man. This <laughs> what a trade this is, man. Just look at this. They come out with their numbers. Market didn't like their numbers. They open up at forty six fifty eight and just go one way south. I mean, in a monster way too. And you take a look at this. You know, bottom line, we pull this back. Now watch this. If you pull this back, there we go. Let's make this. I'll just make this. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is an equity that went from $369, and now you're pounding out the bottom. And the, if you want to see a high-volume load that's going to be tested, it's sick. $21.70. It's unbelievable. And the way this is trading right now, this could just blow it apart. Now, that's technically, fundamentally, folks, okay, what's so intriguing about what, Wayfair, if you're looking for stuff, go look on Wayfair. I've got a lot of stuff on Wayfair. And, you know, three or four years ago, you know, it's, it, well, first off, they have a lot of high-end stuff, but you're not paying high-end dollars, man. You, get a, you wait for the sales, and you can't believe it. I mean, there's some sales out there that just blow everything away. And I suspect, you know, I haven't been, last time I bought was, I think, like six months ago, five months, five months ago, no, four months ago. Um, and I was buying a whole bunch of outdoor furniture, right? It was a joke, man. I mean, it, it, by the time that the discount came in, I believe I was like over 60% off. And yeah, I had, sh I had shopped the deal and they beat, they beat everyone and the quality was better. So it's like, I, even then I should have looked at the stock because I, to me that was saying they just needed cash flow coming in. Dow, Dow's up 123, Nasdaq's up 93, S&P's up 23. Stay right there folks, we'll come right back.